And welcome back, this is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast, up against Sun Tzu, the author of the Art of War, if I remember right. Uh, the Blue Terran in the Northwest. This is the first time I've played this map. It is known as Shakura's Plateau. That is how I'm going to pronounce it, because it kind of sounds like Shakira. Shakura. And I like Shakira. In video, I don't like it. If I hear it on the radio, it's kind of pointless. Just my opinion, though. Um, so, I mean, let's look at this map. It's got an interesting Zalnaga Tower that will be important. Almost mirror expansions here. You should probably be able to see um, the other guy's Vespin Geyser from your Vespin Geyser. Um, kind of a weird expansion uh, between the two of us, guarded by rocks. Here's the natural. It's the easiest natural I think I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, really, the only thing you have to be worried about is this ledge here and, you know, harassment from the back. But really, I could just have easily uh, placed my barracks down here and tried to block this off. Um, but once again, not familiar with the map at all. So I'm... Uh, this was brand new for me. It looks like it was almost brand new for him because he didn't think of that either. Um, but interesting map. I, I, I must say I like it, even though it's weird and kind of new. Um, but this is kind of weird. I have the early lead on harvesters, like 14 to 12 already, 15 to 12. And he's going for gas. Uh, looks like he went for the early barracks, and that's why. But this is quite a long map. I mean, look how much ground you have to cover to get to the other base. And that's not even counting how far down you have to go. That is a long map. This is a four-player map, if I remember right. And he's actually going to be scouting with a Marine. Did he get some pot shots off? No, he missed uh, the SCV. Two Marines going down because I forgot to get gas. <laughs> that was a noob moment for me. Uh, but fortunately, this is not going to be a map that relies ultra le ultra heavily. Uh, I'm sticking with that. I'm, I, I'm not happy with it, but I'm sticking with it. On early um, on on the early timing of attacks here. Here I went for a bunker because I wanted to prevent the expansion. But of course, he saw that, instantly took it out. I was forced to salvage it as he continues to look for my base. Uh, there we go, the last one. So he was able to take out my bunker. I was going to try some cheese, but it didn't work out. So I'm not too upset about it. I didn't lose that many minerals over it. Uh, Second and third barracks going down for me as I get a reactor on my first. These two marines should be able to handle this one marine. Especially since he's just moving. He's not attack moving. But there we go. He is able to get to catch up uh, with the harvester count. Even though he's got... He's only got three. Uh, you know, sorry. Uh, he's only got three um, harvesters on the refinery. One here and two here. So, really, he, he wasted 75 minerals here when he could have just sent that SCV over here. At least for now. That's I, I was kind of wondering. I'm like, th this this gas is kind of weird. Uh, so, what are we going for? He goes for a scan as well. So, he's not using his SCVs or his, well, his economy as a whole properly. He is able to see that expansion. Uh, sorry, that factory, what he is not able to see is the expansion here. And here he takes control over both Zeldonga Towers. Good move for him. Um, and I think about it, and I'm like, you know what, I should get those Zeldonga Towers. You know, I've got a couple Marines extra. It's not like he's going to be forcing anything early. He saw a proxy puncture. He's going to be thinking I'm Russian, which I'm not doing. And it does look like he thinks I'm Russian, because he has ten Marines out. So here I go, okay, let's go for the Zalnaga Towers. Let's see if I can get anything. And look at that. The, if you get both of them, you can actually see all the way through the middle. 
Those are great Zelnaga towers. Highly effective. And here I just moved, I did an attack move, so he's able to win the battle on both sides. 15, 15. Attack move. I'm just saying. And here I went for gas again. Um, but I am low on uh, minerals because I did have to use 400 for that expansion. But that early expansion should be paying off because it is such a an easy expansion to hold. I mean, uh, oh my gosh, this is this is this might be my favorite expansion on any map ever. <laughs> At least a 1v1. Of course, I placed the command center in the wrong spot. So look at look at that travel distance to the Vespian gas. Oh man. Oh, that was awful. But I did catch it. Um, but I was like, uh, should I lift it off? Should I should I just leave it there? I and I ended up leaving it there. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at that travel distance. Look at this travel distance. Oh my god. I ended up leaving it there. I did play this game today. It's actually Halloween today. Uh, happy Halloween to everybody here. This probably will go up about a week uh, to two weeks after Halloween. Um, but it is Halloween right now, so happy Halloween to everybody if you celebrate Halloween. If you do not, um, eat candy. That That's basically Halloween. Um, <laughs> that... that there's more to it. I, it's hard to explain to people that don't celebrate it or don't even understand how Christianity has warped over the years. Anyways, um, let's, let's focus on the game. I don't really want to get into a religious uh, conversation. He did get a factory as well as a starport. No reactor or tech lab on it, but he did queue up two medevacs there. Um, not sure exactly what he's going for. But it is not going to work out well if he doesn't get an add-on to that. That's one thing that um, I rarely see from tech players. And another scan. And he scans right on uh, my supply depot. So he's he's not seeing anything new from me. He's seen the tech lab here. Uh, what has he seen? Um, he's got a sensor tower, though. Look at that. Where is that sensor tower? In the middle of his base. To So... Uh, that's a bad placement of a sensor tower. I'm not a big fan of them anyways, but you want them at the edge of your base uh, so that you can see everything out. You know, this is this is really like a 10 second warning at best. Uh, so he's able to see two factories, uh, two, three barracks, all my supply depots, and that's it. He, what he doesn't see? Starboards, which is important because there's tier three. They're the next one out. So... Siege tanks out, um, Marines, Marauders out, I'm going for, um, what am I going for, missile turrets, starports, uh, nothing out of the usual, it's combat shield because I didn't get those early, I still need concussive shells, I should be, hopefully I will be getting that, uh, siege tank, siege, the uh, mode, siege mode is fully upgraded, there we go, reactor tech lab. Tons of Marines. Looks like he's going to be going for a drop. Uh, he does have two siege tanks. No uh, Marauders. So he got that uh, tech lab just for a combat shield. I don't think I've ever seen it just for a combat shield. And there he loads up his bunker once again. Wow. Oh, looks like that's a new bunker, actually. Uh, here we go. Two Marines guarding the middle expansion. Wow, my army goes around... The long way. Still not fully saturated at this expansion here. Uh, an oversaturate here. I would love to see a transfer. Uh, but I don't think I think of it until much later in the game. And I still have so much unspent. And there.